Get the inside scoop on Bitcoin, what it is, how it works, and why it's taking the world by storm. We've all heard of Bitcoin, but what is it? How does it work? What can you do with it? And why has it been the target of so much controversy? See the full video to get the inside scoop on Bitcoin from what it is to how it works and why it's taking the world by storm. But before we move on, make sure to hit the subscribe button of our channel Cryptella and press the bell icon to stay up to date with recent crypto updates. A full history of Bitcoin. Satoshi Nakamoto invented Bitcoin back in 2008 as a new way to exchange value over the internet. In doing so, he created something completely new, the first completely decentralized digital currency. Bitcoin uses encryption techniques to create money that no government can print or control. It's generated through computers, solving complex math problems, and there's a limited supply of just under 21 million Bitcoin. Today, there are more than 12 million Bitcoin wallets holding some 50 billion USD worth of Bitcoin across thousands of online platforms. And while they may not be used in your daily life yet, you can already use Bitcoin to buy things like pizza and pay for services like web hosting. There are even ATMs where you can trade cash for Bitcoins right now. But what does all of that mean? How does it work? And what's next for Bitcoin? We cover all of that here. How to buy Bitcoin there are three primary ways to get your hands on some Bitcoins. Mining them yourself, purchasing them for an exchange or marketplace, or accepting them for goods and services. Let's walk through each one. The easiest way to obtain Bitcoin is through a trade with someone who already has them. This could be a friend, family member, or even a stranger if you meet up in person. Of course, you can also find buyers online at sites like Local Bitcoins and eBay, the latter of which has seen its share of controversy recently. You can buy coins directly from exchanges like Coinbase that convert traditional currency into cryptocurrency using various payment methods. Credit card payments often incur fees of 3 to 4 percent. Alternatively, you can accept Bitcoin as payment for goods and services if you operate a business, such as a BNB, or offer freelance work that people want done. Some companies now accept Bitcoin as payment even if they don't operate in anything related to digital currencies. Just look at Overstock. How does Bitcoin mining work? In a nutshell, mining creates Bitcoins. But unlike fiat currency, for example, US dollars, which can be printed out of thin air by central banks, Bitcoin is a currency that must be mined. And there's a finite number of them, which means more miners competing for their share. And more competition makes mining more difficult and expensive over time. Therefore, most people join so-called mining pools, groups of miners who combine their processing power to mine more efficiently. Once you're in a pool, your computer receives an assignment from the pool and starts working on it. If your computer solves one of these math problems first, then you win bitcoins as a reward. The amount depends on how much work your computer contributed to solving that problem. What do I need to start mining? To get started with bitcoin mining, you will need specialized hardware called ASICs, Application Specific Integrated Circuits. These are basically supercomputers, designed specifically for Bitcoin mining. They come in two main types, SHA-256 ASICs and Script ASICs. There are also FPGA devices sold by Butterfly Labs, but they are not very popular due to higher costs than other options, longer delivery times, and some concerns about reliability. The future of digital currency. Is this still a good investment? The first thing to understand about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general is that there are a lot of competing coins out there. There's a strong possibility that you have already heard about them. Ethereum, Litecoin, Ripple. Each has its own value proposition and use case, which helps to explain their respective price movements relative to one another. That said, Bitcoin still remains king, at least for now. To get an idea of what BTC actually is, let's take a look at some key characteristics. Crypto Trading Benefits Crypto trading, which involves buying and selling digital currency like Bitcoin or Ether, has become a big business. The price of Bitcoin soared more than 400% in 2017 alone. Some investors have made a lot of money trading crypto. But for others, it's been a very expensive lesson about picking hot stocks. Regardless of whether you think cryptocurrencies are ultimately going to zero or to one million each, or anywhere in between, there are some key factors you should consider before diving into cryptocurrency trading. Here are three questions to ask yourself when deciding whether to trade crypto. What am I investing in? First things first, 
What exactly are you investing in? Are you buying a coin or token that represents an investment opportunity tied to one particular company, product, or service? Or are you buying a coin that could be used as currency at places where other people accept it as payment? What kind of return can I expect? Cryptocurrencies have experienced massive gains over short periods of time. For example, if you had invested just $100 into Bitcoin at its inception back in 2009, your investment would be worth roughly $4.4 million today. However, these types of returns don't come without risk. The difference between public and private blockchains. Public blockchains are fully decentralized networks in which anyone can participate. No one person or group of people controls a public blockchain, although some may have more influence than others. They are run autonomously, and transactions must be confirmed across several participants before being added to the chain. This makes them faster, but also less secure, as there's no way to control what goes into them. Private blockchains are controlled by an organization that decides who participates and what goes into its blockchain. These blockchains typically feature smart contracts that allow for automatic execution once certain conditions are met, like receiving payment. The downside? A private blockchain is only as fast as its slowest node. So if you don't trust your peers, or they aren't very fast, you won't get much value out of your network. In short, if you want full decentralization, go with a public blockchain. If you want control over who participates and what gets added to your chain, go with a private one. Major Players in Crypto There are many players in crypto, but there are three major players. Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Ripple. One of those cryptocurrencies you can use to buy other coins or tokens. That's what a lot of people do when they want to invest in new cryptocurrencies. They trade one cryptocurrency for another at a cryptocurrency exchange like Coinbase. That's all for today. Visit Cryptella.com for further updates regarding crypto and never forget this video to share with your friends. Have a good day.